Interconnectedness may seem like an abstract concept, but it has practical day-to-day -day applications. Miriam Manik has used her training as a sports scientist to develop training regimes that are matched to the individual requirements of her clients. And this personal touch has helped to earn her a prestigious Young Entrepreneur Award. Karusha met up with Miriam to get the full story. Mario Mane completed her sports science degree at the University of KwaZulu Natal in 2010. And since then, she has devoted herself to developing and implementing a fully customized approach to fitness. This comprises training programs and nutritional plans that are tailored to the requirements of the individual, and it has become the cornerstone of a very successful enterprise. Mariam was warming up her clients at the beginning of an outdoor session when Karusha arrived. Okay, I want you to take your right hand, place it onto your left side of your cheek, pulling over to the right side, deep breath in and release. I want you to grab the two ends of the rope, lifting up to your waist, bending at your knees, deep breath in and let's go. Take it all the way up, walking straight into your upper body, keep your abs nice and tucked in. It's always so inspiring when somebody builds their dreams out of their personal story. Miriam Munnak has built iTrain over the last seven years and it has become a hub for women empowerment and fitness. I'm so excited to be chatting with her today. Miriam, how are you? Well, and you? Good, thank you. It's so nice to see you. Nice to meet you. What has the journey been like so far? If I can look back, choosing sports science as a career was something that I was just, you know, it was part of my mission. And seven years later, and I've got an army of women wearing strength on their sleeves, and I couldn't be more grateful. What makes iTrain so different? The variety of workouts that we have, it suits all types of women. So we host clients that have weight loss needs, running marathon needs, or just keeping fit. And the amazing thing is that all these women share a similar sense of purpose. Now, I know I caught you in your morning training with some ladies. Yes, that was the little outdoor session that we just had. And now we're heading into the studio for some indoor sweat. Would you like to join us? Let's go. Mariam recently opened a brand new performance center in Westville, and she already has plans to launch a second venue soon. Oh, wow, this is beautiful, Mariam. Thank you. Join us. we Will do. Okay, guys, I want you to lie down and grab your weight into your right hand. Okay, and I want you to extend your arm all the way up to the ceiling. You're gonna squeeze your core in, deep breath in, and up you go. One, two, exhale, back down, up. Really pulling into your core, back down. So I want you to station up onto your elbows. And we're going straight into your plank. Getting your back nice and straight, hips and back in one line. I want you to tilt your tailbone in and we're going to hold the plank so we're really activating your core and release. Well done guys, that was awesome. I'll see you at your next session. Miriam, thank you so much, it was so great. How are you feeling? <laughs> I worked up a sweat. <laughs> Lovely. And my core is a little bit sore, so that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So is this the only way I can train with you? I train is all about holistic living, so we don't restrict our training to an indoor gym or doing the clinical type of training. You often find us on the beach on Saturdays for a nice one hour sweat. We also have a running club, which we have all levels of runners, and we have our studio sessions. So what role does nutrition play in holistic living? You know the saying, you are what you eat? That's just simply true. Behind me, you can see a juice bar. This is where we offer cold press juices to our clients. It's done by me and my sister, Homera. And we offer a variety of different flavors, each flavor has its own benefits and nutrients. You're getting all your colors. We don't typically get that from foods that we eat on a daily basis. Would you like to taste? I'd love to. It looks so delicious. Thank you. Ooh, that's really good. Before you finish it up, I have a beautiful spot. We can go and have our juices there. I'd love to. Let's go. Training becomes so much more fun when you have a view to enjoy through the windows or at the pool. Miriam, I can see why you chose this spot. It's so beautiful out here. I always enjoy the outdoors. Where did your passion for fitness come from? My figure of inspiration has always been my dad. He was the one pushing me into fitness training 
He has a disability called polio and he's not letting that get in the way. He made me realize that I could do things that I once imagined impossible. And what is your advice to anybody that wants to get into the fitness industry? If fitness is something on your mind and it's something that's telling you or guiding you into a direction of your career, then you should go for it and don't expect much, but just do what you love. And where do you see the future of iTrain? I'm very passionate about it. I'd love to see it expand locally and absolutely internationally one day. That's great, and I want that for you too. Miriam, it has been such a pleasure to spend time with you today, and I wish you every success. Thank you so much, Karusha. Mariam is always pushing her own limits, and as a trainer and entrepreneur, she leads and inspires.